There is a new unexpected update for Star Wars Hunters and it brings so many changes to the game. First of all, we've got a new map for Squad Brawl, which is insanely action-packed. Moses Poway Station. It has lots of different roads to take advantage of, ramps and high grounds. Just perfect for this game mode. There is a new in-game tutorial also in this map that is simple and fun, while also introducing us to the characters and helping get the hang of the game while using the Mar of X. Soft launch will not be coming to Europe with a list of specific countries. There will now be a daily login calendar, although we are yet to see it implemented in the game. There is a total of 64 new cosmetics for us to try out in matchup mixup and buy. Okay, so this is the most important part. Now the loadouts have been completely reworked. You will have a total of 42 points after you level up your hunter to level 20 to invest them in two different loadouts for your abilities. Tier 1 will cost 1 point and it goes up to 5, which costs 9 points. So be sure to check them all out patiently before making your decision. Of course you can have your points back, but it will cost you credits. There is a new ability for Sprocket, Drone Defense. It deploys drones to defend his allies, while his turret ability now serves as ultimate and is absolutely insane. Gross is also having a new ability that replaces Frenzy, and it is called Upheaval. It is a mid-range ability for Gross which slams the ground and damages opponents. A Slingshot's ultimate ability got a huge buff and is now so destructive and a scary one to go up against, so watch out for it on the battlefield. There are changes to other hunters like Skora, being so much better at damage and healing, and Utuni being now a top tier hunter with their massive new pulse blaster that deals high area damage and the arc caster which got buffed. There are also minor changes to damage, like Rose's main attack now dealing more damage, while others like Reef's score roadless pursuit being nerfed. There are new changes to their interface, it is looking so good. You can now select the game mode before starting a match, there is a 20 seconds character selection timer before the match. If everyone is ready, it will shorten the time to 3 seconds. Intro animations were removed, so now the music will play just after you confirm your hunter selection. There are also changes in post-game results, which makes them more clear. Dunsi Outpost have some interesting changes to it. Now there are different routes to take when starting the match, which will bring a new level of strategy to this map for the best. Aside of this, there are some visual and audio improvements to the game. That is it for today, Hunters. I hope you enjoyed this first look at the new update. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you are enjoying the content. This is Gelling here. See you around.